Hello and welcome to CB News Digest, the retail roundup, your bi-weekly dose of what's happening in the retail industry. Dior is taking over Harrods for the Christmas holidays, transforming Harrods into a fashion-filled gingerbread house, all in the courtesy of Dior. So unveiled on Thursday, the fabulous world of Dior is Harrods' largest ever brand takeover encompassing all 44 windows for the first time in history. With the facade, light display, two pop-ups, an exhibition, and also a cafe. All of this will remain until January 3rd, 2023. However, the exhibition is what is popping up and it's free to visit, located beneath Dior's accessories department. Visitors are taken on a magical immersive journey through Mr. Christian Dior's world via intricate installations. Wow, it does seem magical. So Adidas, after its fallout with Kanye West, the brand still plans to use Yeezy designs. But before we get into that, is your company involved in the apparel supply chain? Because if so, you should join Siwi, the global apparel B2B network with a social collaborative marketplace concept, allowing you to showcase your products and promote your brand to many different businesses globally and also connect and collaborate with potential partners and yes it's free to sign up use this link right here to sign up your company for free today on CV. So Adidas did indeed confirm that it will still be using Yeezy designs. The company slashed its profit forecast for the fourth time this year as the end of its lucrative Yeezy partnership and the falling demands for its products in China weighed on its third quarter earnings. The sneaker line acquired around 8% of the brand's annual revenue. And also Adidas has said that the brand owns all IP designs and colorways relating to the Adidas Yeezy products, save for the Yeezy name itself and intends to make use of these rights as early as 2023. And the team at the moment is working on leveraging the existing Yeezy inventory. Finally, the company anticipates saving 300 million pounds in 2023 due to the royalty and marketing payments that would have been paid to Kanye West himself. European retailers brace for a cutback during Christmas spending. And they also fear that this Christmas would be the worst in at least a decade as shoppers cut spending both on gifts and socializing as double-digit inflation influences their purchasing power. In Germany, the HDE Retail Association is forecasting the strongest slump in Christmas sales since 2007, with retail sales in the crucial November-December period seen dropping by 4% year-on-year on a price-adjusted basis. And in the United Kingdom, surveys indicate that half or more Britons plan to spend less this Christmas. And also 68% of Italians plan to cut back on purchases between now and the holidays. And nearly half plan on cutting spendings on Christmas shopping. Thank you for tuning in to CB News Digest, the retail roundup. We are here bi-weekly. Hit the subscribe button down below and also follow us on social media. We will be back very, very soon.